If you've bought or sold any Ethereum or Ethereum based NFTs, then you know how painful gas fees can be. In this video, we're going to talk about Immutable X, the first layer 2 solution for NFTs on the Ethereum blockchain. And if you didn't understand anything I just said, don't worry, I'll explain all of it in a step by step video so that you get a fundamental understanding of what Immutable X is, why it's important, and more importantly, is it worth investing in? If you're not familiar with using cryptocurrency, then buckle in, because learning how to use this tech could make you a multi-millionaire in just the next five years. First, we need to acknowledge that we're in the early stages of crypto and right now we're in a bull market so every single coin is gonna have a graph that looks something like this be very cautious when the market gets hot like this because this is where few people become overnight millionaires and the vast majority are left broke if you already know about some of these topics then feel free to skip ahead using the timestamps below what is ethereum Ethereum is the second most popular cryptocurrency behind Bitcoin. What makes it different is that it has a programming language built into it so that you can build decentralized apps on top of it. That's why Ethereum might be the second largest cryptocurrency, but its network has way more utility than Bitcoin. Because of this programmability, we've seen the emergence of decentralized finance NFTs and crypto gaming. But one of the major problems with Ethereum is that it currently uses a proof of work consensus algorithm to validate transactions. We won't get into what proof of work is, but the point is that it requires a ton of computational power to validate transactions, which means that it's expensive to run the network. This also creates a bottleneck for the amount of transactions that the network can handle. The Ethereum Foundation is working on a new proof of stake method to solve the bottleneck issues, but it's still in development. When you use Ethereum to buy anything on the network, there's a transaction fee that needs to get paid to the miners. The miners are the computers that maintain the network. This is known as a gas fee. Right now, the price of Ethereum is at all time highs and the entire network is super congested, which means that if you want your transaction to go through, you have to pay a higher gas fee. And if you don't, then your transaction won't process. If you've never heard of NFTs, then the main point that you need to know is that an NFT is a token that's created on the blockchain. That token gives you ownership rights over a digital item. If you're thinking, but I can just take a picture of an NFT and now I have a copy too, what's the big deal? It's not the same. You'll see why in a minute. Right now, crypto gaming is booming. And if you've seen my last video on Axie Infinity, then you'll know why people are quitting their jobs and earning twice as much money playing a game. Check the link above if you want to see more on that. The convergence of blockchains, NFTs, and gaming is creating a brand new type of economy and it's all digital. Crypto games use a play to earn model, which lets players of the game own the actual assets within the game. How is this different from regular games that you play today? Every item in the game that you play today is owned by the developers. If you're playing World of Warcraft or Fortnite, then all of those cool looking skins or armor that you have in the game are not actually yours. They don't belong to you. You can't actually take that armor and sell it on an open market outside of the game. The developers won't allow it because that's eating into their business model. They earn all of their money selling you these skins and items in the game and that's what keeps the developers you know, going. That's what funds them. That's what gives them all of the money that they need to you know, create new content in the game. Crypto games have a completely different type of economics, which means that the legendary weapon that you just got is actually an NFT that's on the blockchain. That NFT belongs to you, not the developers. And you can sell that item on a marketplace outside of the game for cryptocurrency. The way that the game keeps itself running with this business model is that every time you sell an NFT or any time an NFT within the game exchanges owners, the, there's a 10% royalty or any kind of percent. The developers set that percentage, but let, for, for the sake of argument, let's just say it's 10%. The, there's a 10% um, royalty that goes to the game and that goes into the treasury which is then used to develop further um, content for the game so this creates an economy where more people 
are wanting to trade and buy and sell NFTs to each other. And on as there's more activity within the game, there's more of that, you know, that uh, percentage that goes into the treasury, which helps develop the game even even further. So this creates a ecosystem that is more organic and it's not one sided where the developers have an incentive to like keep selling you things to keep you, you know, addicted or playing the game. So if you sell those items for cryptocurrency, then you can convert that cryptocurrency into euros or dollars or whatever currency you'd like. And this lets people play games for a living and they don't actually have to go out and do manual labor jobs or anything like that. You can just, you know, play games all day and get paid for it. The problem with selling these NFTs is that most of them are on the Ethereum blockchain, which means that they have extremely high gas fees. Immutable X is a layer two solution that's built on top of the Ethereum blockchain, which is just a fancy way of saying that it will help scale their throughput and eliminate gas fees. This means that you can buy and sell NFTs all day long without having to worry about transaction fees eating into your profits. By building on top of the Ethereum blockchain, Immutable X gains all of the security benefits of Ethereum and it provides users of the platform with a peace of mind, knowing that their items won't go away because their NFTs are stored on the Ethereum blockchain. So even if the company goes bankrupt, their NFTs will be fine. Scaling NFTs is the core technology that needs to be unlocked for mainstream crypto adoption. This enables the play to earn gaming model and Immutable X is the first to market with this tech. In an interview with Gamesbeat, Immutable co-founder Robbie Ferguson said, the biggest thing we're looking to build is a set of tools that mainstream developers can use to build NFT games without ever having to worry about blockchains. We're still at the very early stages of this era. To give you a sense of how early we are, Doge and Shiba Coin are worth more than all of crypto gaming combined. Just two coins that were created literally as a joke are worth more than Axie Infinity, a game that people in the Philippines and Mexico are playing as a career. Can you imagine what the space will look like when AAA games start being adopted in a play to earn model? Imagine owning one of a kind skin in Fortnite or League of Legends. This would enable kids to generate insane amounts of wealth before they're even legally able to work in the real world. Okay, let's recap. So far, you've learned what Ethereum is, why transaction fees are so high, how NFTs tie into crypto gaming, and how Immutable X is solving these problems. Oh, and if you wouldn't mind hitting that like button, that would be awesome. Immutable just released their IMX token, which is a utility and governance token, meaning that you can use that token to earn rewards or vote on proposals like shares in a company that's publicly traded. I really like the team behind this project and they've partnered up with some pretty big names like TikTok and Gary V. They also announced integrations with OpenSea, Mintable, Token Trove, Superfarm, and much more. Unfortunately, if you live in the US, you won't be able to buy the IMX token unless you know how to use a VPN or you're comfortable using decentralized exchanges. So if you're willing to find out how to get this token now, it will be time well spent because when it eventually gets listed on Coinbase and Gemini, you'll be glad that you watched this video and you got in on the ground floor. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.